So, what's up, everybody? Blood Moon Bobby here. So, as promised, here I am playing Mario Kart Wii. Um, I did have plans to stream Super Mario Brothers Wonder today, but unfortunately, it's arriving late in the mail because um, I wanted to get the um, the physical copy because I figured, oh, you know, new Mario game makes sense to go with the physical copy and. Um, uh, the, and yeah, I mean, I guess probably should have just pre-ordered it at the, you know, GameStop locally instead of doing it online. But anyway, I'm going to save that stream next week. I am looking forward to playing it. So for the day, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite games to stream, Mario Kart Wii. I know that last week when I did the Duck Hunt stream, I had a few technical issues with like the frame rate and such. I think I got it figured out. I mean, I don't know if it's this is just my computer, but I found that using the low power mode on my MacBook Pro is actually uh, quite draining to the uh, CPU performance, especially when it comes to streaming. Like if I'm just doing like a uh, usual like working in Adobe Illustrator or my usual SEO work, it's okay. But if I'm doing a stream, it's really taxing on the processor. But today, um, it looks like it's doing better. At least it's not like laggy as far as I could tell. But if anything changes, just let me know. So without further ado, let's uh, get to Mario Kart Wii. I might have told this story uh, many times, but it still kind of blows my mind. I didn't uh, own this game when I was a kid. I played it a couple times. Like, I remember one time when I used to work at uh, my college newspaper, they would play this sometimes. Um, I played it at the uh, GameStop at Universal Studios Hollywood, but I didn't own the game myself. I'm kind of surprised I didn't ask, like... Um, my parents if I could have this for like a Christmas or birthday present because Mario Kart DS is still one of my favorite uh, Nintendo DS games. I'd even go as far as to say it was my favorite first party game for the original DS. Okay, I'm so just um, drinking my coffee here. Um, let's do single player. I'm gonna see if there's still a few um, courses that um, or some cups that I haven't tackled yet. So, we're already starting off on a really uh, difficult uh, level, 150cc. Uh, since in the, if you saw my uh, Instagram or TikTok video promoting the stream, you will have seen that uh, I was playing Dry Bones. So, it makes sense. Dry Bones was my main when, uh, when I played Mario Kart DS, so I guess it makes sense. So, automatic. Oh, there's still a um, course I haven't unlocked yet, so let's just do the uh, Leaf Cup and begin. Ah, this course this is actually one of my least favorite courses from Mario Kart DS because I hated driving in the sand. Probably doesn't help that I, I already find uh, Mario Kart Wii to be one of the most difficult um, Mario Karts that I've played personally. Um, <laughs> so, but you know, hey, you know, it's for challenges that you learn and grow and all that uh, good stuff. I mean, as of late, I've you know been reminding myself that sometimes my happiest moments come from like challenging myself in just about anything: video games, uh, learning to drive. And, I mean, it's one of the reasons I enjoy a racing game so much because in my outside life, I do, you know, enjoy driving and learning about cars. Whoa, that could hurt. I didn't know that. Shit. Yeah, oh boy, this this is gonna be rough. But as I often say in these switch rooms, one upside of um, being in like uh, uh, the back of the line is that uh, you get to use all the cool items. Oh, that would have been, like, so nice if that was, like, the final lap. 
I almost feel like I can't, like, bump into anybody <laughs> here, because I notice if I bump into somebody, they might have, like, some sort of item that they could use to attack me. And baby Peach. <laughs> Not the red shell. Here. It's probably a good idea to use the break there. Testing out the cornering. Oh, I wished I could use the bullet bill, but uh, hey, I got first place. That's awesome. Reminds me of the Bowser Castle stage from the um, older Mario games. Or Mario Kart DS, I should say. This is probably not one of those stages where you want to use, like, the, you know, most uh, fast speed boost at the start. Just because if you do that, you're gonna, like, you know, drive into a wall. But yeah, the music definitely reminds me of, like, one of the Bowser Castle stages from um, Mario Kart DS. Hit the fireball there. Ooh, I, at least I got the item. Uh, they couldn't give me <laughs> a nicer item. There. Ooh, oh shit. You can't drive into those paths because it'll really slow you down. Yeah, I mean, it's almost like a rule of thumb in a Mario Kart game where it's like, you know, uh, don't try not to drive into the dirt path or else you're really gonna slow down. Ooh, good thing is I was, uh, uh had mushrooms there, because if I didn't, I'd probably fall into the lava. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, come on, get out of my way, womp. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Like, you know, I remember, like, one of the first times playing it, someone's like, dang, you're getting pummeled. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. That's why I say, like, Mario Kart Wii, I think it's, at least to me, one of the harder Mario Kart games I've played in comparison to, like, uh, Mario Kart DS or even Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Still looking for it. I think that's fake. Or to playing, I mean, I hope they make like a Mario Kart 9 for uh, the few uh, a Switch successor. But hey, at least um, doing okay. Just don't want to get squished by the flop. Huh? Ah, oh good, oh good. That time I didn't fall in the lava. Did I get sprayed by Squid Ink? Well, now let's see if I could maintain my lead. Oh, dear God. Can I make it to the end? Finish line! Finish line! Oh, I'm actually having a quite a big lead. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. Alright, next race. Hmm. That would be like cool if um 
a theoretical Mario Kart 9 or whatever they would call that, and I got thrown in the water. Um, whatever they would call the next uh, Mario Kart um, was a uh, launch title for the next Nintendo system. Lightning bolt time. Wow, oh, really starting to catch up there. Get sprayed. Nice. Let's see, we're all just trying to like uh, get through. Oop. Oop. <laughs> Didn't hit the microphone too hard there. Oop, oh wow, right in front of me. See if I can get a bullet bill or something to speed up. Ooh, not a good time to use the mushroom there. This might be better because the course is an arrow and I can't use it anymore. Ooh, the toad there. I also get a Star Man too. Hmm. It kind of weirded out looking at Rosalina because uh, <laughs> for a second I keep thinking the Luma is like an item of some sort. Uh, uh, Papua, come on, come on, come on. And dry bones. Mm, fourth place. But let's see if it affects the uh, ranking. 38 points, okay. So, second to Daisy. <laughs> this race, alright. Mario Circuit, let's see how I do here. Yeah, now that's a good time to, you know, do um, the launch. I mean, in, in the car I mean, community, when you do, like, a really fast, like, kind of start, it's called, you know, uh, launching the car. Okay, uh, another false victory there. Now block. Now Toad is trying to take the top spot. All right. I'm making sure not to get hit by the piranha plants. Uh, I keep driving into like the grass. Ooh. 
Ooh. Like, uh, oh, I still got hit by the blue shell anyway. Yeah, it's... Yeah, oftentimes if there was, like, items in random places... Oh, I was hoping the green shell <laughs> would stop it, but I guess not. Hmm. That was a cool trick from the Dry Bones and fifth place. Oh, well. Am I still in second? Okay. Yeah, so that, yeah, that was kind of crazy. <laughs> I think the next uh, couple rounds, I'm going to take it down a notch. Luckily, let's see if uh, we got some items. Or unlock new stuff. Yeah, 150cc lightning cup. Eh, I kind of don't really want to check that out today. I think uh, for the rest of the stream, I'm just going to stick to 100cc. Yeah, I almost forgot in this game, um, you can unlock, um, the ability to use both carts and bikes in, um, the game. Um, let's do, uh, Koopa Troopa this time. Hmm. Let's actually go for cart, because I think I do, uh, better with the carts. Yeah. And since um, we unlock Lightning Cup and 150cc, I figured we just do Lightning Cup here. Top spot. Hmm. I think that time the banana peel saved me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow, you could even take out the pipes. Oh, I don't have an item to save me this time. Ooh, but I have this. Speed ramp. Alright, first place. And of course, if you have any uh, requests for characters or cups, just let me know.
Definitely remember this course from the uh, uh, Mario Kart DS. Hmm. I did say um, in my um, in one of the posts I made to promote the stream that I would play a course with Rainbow Road. So if this cup doesn't have a Rainbow Road course, maybe I could play that or a cup that has Rainbow Road, I should say, after uh, this one. Yeah, there's one in particular, Mario Kart Wii, that I thought was really insane. So maybe we'll get a taste of that um, in the next uh, cup. Power block. Oh, man. <laughs> Good thing I had banana peels that time. Oh, am I gonna get hit by the chain jump? Hmm. Now this time Diddy Kong seems to be in second place. in there. Oop. Yeah, the item, but don't want to crash into chain chomp. Awesome. Looks kind of angry. Looked like a fake item box there. I do like these uh, ramps where you go up and down on, just uh, don't run into a rock. Or do! <laughs> Trying to break there. Toad! <laughs> Who was also uh, one of uh, my mains when I played Mario Kart DS back in the day. Pass 
Uh, him. Ooh. Don't want to take chances on that item box. She's toad. <laughs> oh, why can't the red shell get toad? comes the question of can I uh, I mean not that I have to be in first <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> uh, hey guys, uh, that time I probably should have just uh, let Peach go so that she would get hit by the blue shell and not myself. Okay, now that's a time where you just, you know, you stay in second so that your opponent will get hit and not yourself. Get to the finish line! Wow, right in time! It's <laughs> awesome. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. Yeah, 100 CC is probably. At least in Mario Kart Wii, maybe because I don't really play it that much outside of streams, probably the kind of Goldilocks level to me. Just because it's like the kind of like good balance of like challenge, but also not like, you know, insanely difficult. If this was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I would probably say that 100cc is too easy. For me, I should say, I mean, of course, you know, if you're first time playing, um, you know, you should, you know, uh, get used to the uh, difficulty levels and such. Oof, power block there. No right. Awesome. Yeah, definitely, um, the upcoming games, the small that I can think of playing, um, I know that I said Mario Wonder, I'm really tempted, uh, when the Metal Gear Solid Collection comes to, um, Switch, uh, I'm thinking of at least playing maybe for the Virtuous Mission, maybe even one or two of the bosses in, um, Metal Gear Solid 3, um, just because, yeah, maybe I could, uh, show, uh, how I defeat uh, what, what's his name? The one with the, the hornets. Um, I think it's the pain, yeah. And such. In trying to see if I've gotten used to the, um, old school Metal Gear controls. Because when I beat Snake Eater 3D, you know, that was on the 3DS, so I'm used to the 3DS controls. So I'm wondering if the Switch version is gonna use more of the kind of PS2 controllers, which I get that's like that, you know, that's how 
MGS3 was originally like, but as uh, somebody coming in, especially somebody who doesn't have experience or too much experience with, like, uh, shooters of the time, um, it's, for me, it's kind of like learning a new language, but I'm still looking forward to playing it. I remember I was very frustrated trying to, like, you know, play MGS3 in the HD collection, but I've gotten adequate. Ooh, <laughs> saving grace there. Instead of me getting hit, uh, yeah. That was always like a trick of mine. I always like to pull with the the other Mario Kart games I've had. Just letting the first place person get hit by the blue shell so that I could come in and steal the crown. <laughs> well, let's get out of the way. I gotta race to win! Uh, 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 red shell. Yeah. It's quite bumpy there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Shoot! Man. <laughs> Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna fall in the lava again. Yes, 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 yes. Alrighty. So got in first place there, despite falling in the lava a couple times. Okay, so, uh, beat this race, so that's awesome. Got first place. So let's try to find one that has, uh, oh wow, I got a star. Uh, one of the Rainbow Road courses. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? Even though, uh... I don't know if that many people use the Wii message board anymore now that uh, I think uh, Wii Connect 24 was discontinued. Eh, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat. Uh. Mm. Kind of torn on who I want to play. Next, um, I guess you can't go wrong with Mario. Since this new game came out, I guess it makes sense. Let's do the Super Blooper, Wild Wing, eh, Super Blooper. I don't think I've played that enough. So I said we were gonna pick out a course or a cup that has Rainbow Road. Alright, Special Cup. Remember the Rainbow Road in Mario Kart Wii was like, uh, really bonkers? Uh, this course. Yeah, just any... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna sound like Anakin Skywalker for a second, but, you know, just... Any, like, Mario Kart course with sand, I'm just like, oh, no. Because, like, if you fall in the sand, it's really... Um, you know, it takes a lot of time to get out. <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm just, just like, God, if I was driving through sand in real life, I wish I had, like, a Land Rover or something like you know, a Toyota Land Cruiser, you know, one of the two, without getting too geeky. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I guess the, the trick here, because I know there's that part of the course where you see, like, the sand, Falling into those piles is just to um, use the ramps so that, you know, especially if you don't have a mushroom on you. No, don't want to get hit.
Well, at least the bats don't, like, hurt you like crazy. I am sad to hear that uh, Charles Martinet has retired, but, uh, well, retired from voicing Mark. He's still going to be at, like, uh, marketing events and so forth. But um, from what I have heard, uh, like, you know, when I would hear the new voice actor in the trailers from Super Mario Brothers Wonder, the new actor seems to be doing a really good job. I honestly couldn't tell that it wasn't until I started seeing all these, like, you know, reports saying, like, is that Charles Martinet? And then Nintendo themselves uh, flat out said, you know, no, Martinet is not involved in uh, Super Mario Brothers. Wonder. But, yeah, I mean, hope one of these days maybe I could meet both actors. That would be awesome. Man, Toad has just been giving a really hard time to me today. And that's what I meant about, like, driving in sand. Oh, boy. Just trying to... Just gonna start sounding like Anakin from Star Wars! This game is just... <laughs> by the time this stream is over, I might be the next Star Vader. For all I know. Alright. Uh, Moonview Highway, which they also recently brought uh, to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. More recently, if you played the DLC. Uh, I play this course. I, I just I can't help but think of the line from the Bruce Willis movie um, <laughs> Hudson Hawk, where he's like, "How am I driving? One eight hundred. I'm gonna f and die." <laughs> There's just so many because because in this course, it's not just the other uh, your opponents that you have to be concerned about. It's also the oncoming traffic. <laughs> like for a good second here, it makes you feel like you're driving. On like the, the uh, like the 110 three freeway if you live in downtown Los Angeles and that kind of stuff. Okay, that time that was not a fake item box. I feel like in this game more than any other Mario Kart game I've played, I have a really hard time telling what's a legit item box and what's fake. The only one thing I know for certain in this course is you don't want to drive into the bob bomb car because, well, you could imagine what happens. <laughs> Squish. Now yeah, Mario is driving like uh, he's been turned into a pancake or something. But yeah. I think when it comes to driving, I thought about lately because yesterday um, I went out for driving and as you know, I'm trying to sort of uh, overcome driver's anxiety and it mostly went good, a couple hiccups, but otherwise um, it was pretty good, really nice to uh, spend time with my sister and um, somehow when we went out to lunch, I started thinking about the very first uh, Pokemon episode, um, I guess it's fitting because it's Saturday. And I used to watch uh, Pokemon on Saturdays when it were on Kids WB. And I thought about, like, how Ash, like, <laughs> he had, like, an, a very rough time in that, like, first Pokemon episode. Um, he and Pikachu didn't get along. And then the scene where Pikachu is getting attacked by, I think, uh, Spiros. And Ash has to, like, you know, uh, run away from them, um, bumps into Misty and gets her bike all scorched up and things like that. And the scene where Pikachu has to save Ash, you know, using his remaining energy to save himself and Ash from getting attacked by the Spearow. So it's that kind of thing where you, you know going in, Ash, you know, clearly wants to be a Pokemon trainer. That's the thing he wants to do. He wants to follow his passion and all that good stuff. But his uh, first step to getting there was anything but smooth. And it reminded me that, you know, 
Oh, that, you know, even when you, you know, legitimately, you know, love something and you're passionate about it, that doesn't necessarily mean that every single day that, you know, things are going to go, like, you know, really smoothly and that kind of stuff. Huh, I didn't know that uh, Mario could go up there. Maybe I could try doing that next time. But that doesn't mean that, you know, you're a bad person or that, you know, you'll never get good and that kind of stuff. I guess when it comes to Ash, it's just his enthusiasm for wanting to catch all the Pokemon and be, you know, Pokemon Master. You know, that enthusiasm, you know, is what is, like, you know, singing through. And oftentimes, yeah, I would say that, you know, <laughs> for a lot of people, that's what keeps them going even when they make their biggest mistakes. So I felt like growing up, I was often told that, you know, making mistakes are bad and looking so-and-so who never, like, you know, fails the test and doesn't need to ask for help and that kind of stuff. Ooh, watch out for the fireball! And yeah, but we could, uh... <laughs> Driving through these muddy bits, that's uh, kind of tricky here. Yeah, it's kind of funny, but even though I have not watched the Pokemon anime in a long time, I've watched it like on and off, you know, when I got into like my teens and adulthood, but I used to watch it more consistently when I was a younger kid. If anything, Pokemon was, I think, the first Nintendo franchise that I got uh, accustomed to. That's why when I would go over to my cousin's place and they would be playing Super Smash Bros. Melee, I was like, oh, it's uh, Pikachu from that Pokemon show on Kids WB. So, even though I, you know, I have a very kind of, uh, you know, a wishy-washy um, experience with Pokemon. I still get very nostalgic. Like, I was really sad to hear when they said that Ash is no longer going to be the uh, protagonist. And, you know, I like to listen to the, you know, Pokemon theme song a lot. I mean, as, you know, I remember seeing a commenter say something to the effect of it's the one English language anime song that uh, Japan is jealous of. And, you know, that's high praise because I think about a lot of, like, you know, anime that uh, I have seen where oftentimes, even in, in the English dub, they'll use the song from, like, uh, uh, the original Japanese version of the show. <laughs> it's, like, it's very, you know, rare for, I think, you know, I can't really think of that many anime where I'm like, you know, oh, the English language song is better. I think Pokemon is one of the very, very few that I could think of. Because even shows that I like, you know, when I watch, like, the dub and they have, like, a... They made a song for the English language version. I'm just kind of like, you know, uh, I don't know. I guess... I guess another um, anime I, I can think of. And I haven't seen um, that many, particularly Shonen Jump. But I guess another, like, good example would probably be the One Piece uh, rap. Because um, <laughs> I heard it recently. I was watching a YouTuber talk about how he used to do the rap... Um, just for fun, and, uh, yeah, that, that one is pretty cool, too. Oh, mud. If I was playing something like Ridge Racer, I'd be downshifting right now so that the engine could go faster, but since you can't do that, getting <laughs> attacked by the baby version of Mario, you're good golly, Miss Molly. And yes, I like listening to uh, Little Richard songs. But yeah, it's probably a big part of, like, when I think about, like, you know, Ash's struggles when he got started, um, it just kind of reminds me of my own, like, struggles with driving in those times where, like, you know, oops, you know, I made a mistake and that kind of stuff. And, you know, but for Ash, he, you know, you know, kept on going and, you know, he was able to become a Pokemon Master. His next one, Rainbow Road. Yep, Rainbow Road, here we go. <laughs> 
Maybe just for, you know, um, fun, after this one, I'll play the course that has Coconut Mall. Because it seems like, aside from Rainbow Road, or really, the most, like, famous slash infamous course uh, to come from Mario Kart Wii was the Coconut Mall one. <laughs> like, that's why, if you go on YouTube, you'll often find uh, videos where people take the Rainbow Road song, and, like, they'll just play it over, like, a, a car chase, like a police <laughs> car chase, and that kind of stuff. I'm actually really uh, suspicious of the speed ramps here. I think because in the past, I think when I tried to use the speed ramps, I would just end up falling off! That's not good! Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, this is, yeah, real course you have to be, like, really careful in the corners, almost fell off again. Yeah, this is awesome. But, yeah, definitely the two um, Nintendo animes that, you know, I used to watch um, quite a bit as a kid were uh, Pokemon and Kirby. I think Kirby, I'd even go as far as to say, was my favorite of the um, animes they made based off Nintendo franchises. I know they made an F-Zero one, but I didn't really watch it that much because I wasn't really into F-Zero at the time. Maybe I could play. I have played F-Zero X a couple times um, and actually really enjoyed it. So maybe that uh, one of these days. I don't know about the Super Nintendo F-Zero because every time I play the Super Nintendo F-Zero, I end up getting the car destroyed. But F-Zero X I could probably do um, in some other day. I do really wish Nintendo would make another F-Zero game. I mean, I think that there's definitely a demand. I really wish that they would team up with a developer like, say, Monster Games who made Excite Truck and make, like, a new um, F-Zero. Because it's been so many years since the last F-Zero game, and I think it's about time. And it could be, you know, a good introduction for people like myself who haven't played F-Zero that much. I mean, there were definitely F-Zero games out when, you know, I was a kid, but there weren't, like, that many. Like, by the time... You know, I got into video games. That was, like, the Nintendo GameCube generation. I think... I think they did release F-Zero games for, like, GameCube and the Game Boy Advance. But again, there were just not that many to choose. If there was any reason I knew of F-Zero is because of Captain Falcon and Super Smash, you know, Brothers. But that's about it. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, before... I streamed today, I was actually playing a bit of Excite Truck, and as always, you know, it's a lot of fun to play. Still one of my favorite games for the original Wii. I really wish they would make a sequel, so if there's anything I want to see Monster Games make, it's either an Excite Truck sequel or um, an F-Zero sequel. And, yeah... I mean, I've probably said this many- It's always this part I fall off. Um, I've, um, you know, said, you know, definitely in Q&A streams where I was suggesting that maybe Nintendo could team up with uh, Namco and make, like, a game that combines the sports cars from Ridge Racer with the crazy shenanigans you would see in, like, Excite Truck. We call it something like Excite Racer or something like that. So I don't think there's an Excite Racing game where you play like sports cars. I know Excite Truck, of course, you're driving around in trucks and SUVs, but not like the kind of like Toyota Supra kind of cars. For that, that's why you would play something like um, Ridge Racer. So yeah, fourth place, but like I said, this is a very tricky um, uh, course. So yeah. But hey, first place overall, that's awesome. So let's go to the cup that has uh, Coconut Mall. Eh, why not? <laughs> not that I'm going to look at the photo in the Wii message board later, but, you know, it's just kind of nice.
Eh, let's do 150cc and end it off with another challenge. Baby Mario. Automatic. Which, oops, sorry. Um, where's Coconut Mall? Oh, Flower Cup. Okay, let's do this. A lot of bumping into each other. I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> Ooh, chain jump! No, 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 now I'm in the grass. Uh. <laughs> Just drive through the grass. One last speed boost, because I was going to... Ah, here comes a lightning cloud, and I'm getting shrunk. Oh. Yeah, so, again, I mean, to be expected. I remember when I was playing 150cc earlier, it was this crazy... But, hey, I was still able to do well in, like, some of the races, so hopefully I could do that here. Maybe I should have done that, like, thing earlier where I was, like, you know, kind of cutting through the grass to, uh, get back into first place. Oh my gosh! Try bones has so many bananas! Yeah, I'm still not used to, like, um, I mean, I played courses where Chain Chomp would come out, but, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Gotta be wary there. Uh... Well, at least, uh, maybe Mario's not crying. I just remember... I once played one of the Mario baseball games at Walmart. This was back during the GameCube days, and I did a poor job. And I just remember at the end, Baby Mario was crying, and you could see his, like, you know, one tooth. And I just remember seeing that scene. I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Let me know if you were around for those days when you went into, like, a store and you played the demo. I still remember my neck still hurts from, like, having to, like, look up at the TVs. So I could see what I'm doing. Try to get to the <laughs> escalators that go up. I gotta be honest, um... If I was just playing Coconut Mall by myself, like, you know, just by myself, I wouldn't have consider that one of the, like, you know, more, like, you know, difficult or crazy Mario Kart courses. Like, for me, Rainbow Road is the really bonkers one. For me, this is more a course that, you know, I, you know, I, like, just straight up enjoy. Okay, maybe not, <laughs> well, this time this is kind of nutso, but, uh, yeah, um, I mean, I like the music. I mean, I guess for me, I'm just one of those people that play it more because I like, you know, the music, and it's a very vibrant, colorful course. I remember, I think when this course first came to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, a lot of people were complaining how come the cars don't, like, try to ram into you and all that stuff. How many more, like, things are gonna, like, you know, run into me before I can go? Ooh, a 
watch out. Okay, yeah, maybe, yeah, 150 CC. This is why when people start saying, okay, this is just berserk. Okay, third place, so getting better. Ah, uh, this place. <laughs> I couldn't get hurt from my own bob bomb. I shouldn't be surprised, but still, it's just like, damn it. Oh, this is not a good place to use the mushroom because I might fall. Wow, I got squished. <laughs> This is definitely a place where I want to use the speed ramp so that I don't want to go in those, like, uh, piles of snow with the pink stripes. Okay, let's, uh, use, um, Bullet Bill! This is actually one time I could probably just drive into the, uh, the striped snow. But just <laughs> watch out for, um, shy guys on their snowboards. Yeah. What was I saying earlier about how I thought Rainbow Road was the crazy course of Mario Kart? We I think this one was even, like, crazier to me. <laughs> But, hey, I do like these speed ramps. Sort of, uh, everybody else some squid! <laughs> Not that you were going to be eating it for lunch. Ah. Dang it! Lost my mushrooms there. to get oh wow fourth place okay that's nice i'll take that so, uh not to sound like the angry video game nerd but when i come to this course i'm like well i bet
I go too far <laughs> there and potentially fall off. Of course. Oh great, <laughs> somebody will take the blue shell instead of me. Oh, can't outrun the blue shell. I mean red shell, excuse me. Oh man, fell off. Let's see if I could catch up. Kind of suspicious of that item box, especially because it looks like the CPU characters don't want to go near it for the reasons I don't. <laughs> like I'll be Mario's like, bye bye. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> And <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean, yeah. Really narrow there. Let's see if I can catch up. Am I just attacking bats? Jeez, who's Rosalina's? He's been kind of aggro there. So is Bowser, for that matter. Pushed into. All right, so fourth place. So, but hey, I gave myself the chance to play. 150 cc again, so that's awesome. Oh, I actually got third. Wow. Third place overall. Alright, so I think I'm gonna end things here for today. So it was nice playing a Mario Kart Wii again. Next week, I'll definitely, or, you know, I think by then I'll be able to get my copy of Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I was really hoping it could, uh, the delivery would come on, uh, Friday yesterday, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. So, Next week, hopefully, I'll be playing Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It's going to be a great time. So follow me on Twitch uh, for when I do my stream on Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Thank you to those who have watched today. And until next time, this has been Blood Moon Bobby. And thank you all for watching.